Hola Lick, buenas noches. Hola, buenas noches. Eh, mire, fíjese que este, solo quería mencionarle, aquí está lloviendo y al parecer como que viene más fuerte el agua. Entonces se me va a hacer un poco difícil participar posiblemente. Ok, okay. Eh, bueno, si no, si pierde conexión o algo, puede escribir al, al WhatsApp también, oiga. Vale, gracias, Lee. muchas gracias, oye, gracias por entender. Bueno, bueno, no hay problema. Estoy siempre ahí pendiente de la clase. Bueno. Igual el, el uh -huh. viernes pasado no pude ni entrar por lo mismo. Ah, vaya, vaya, está bien, no hay problema. Este, si hay algún problema, yo le aconsejaría que les escribiera a, es, a los que son los coordinadores, los técnicos, para que ellos también tomen en cuenta eso. Ok, de acuerdo, y muchas gracias. Bueno, Pero, está? bueno, está bien, gracias.
Hello guys, good evening everybody. Good to see you. Hope you are okay and that you stay well. Okay guys, let's start the class. And uh, remember that you have to finish uh, section five, right? You will have until Wednesday to finish that. So keeping just that in mind. Okay, so let's go over the lesson. And um, we're going to continue with the topic that we started on Friday. Empezamos el tema del present perfect. So today we're going to continue. So uh, we have uh, these persons, right? Do you know who these persons are? Do you know them? Uh, let's see. Mario, do you know these persons? ¿Conoces estas personas? Do you know these persons, Mario? Yes. Who are they? Tell me. It's, it's Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Mm -hmm. And... And... Se me escapa. <laughs> Gandhi, right? Uh, yes, uh, yes. Okay, so why is Bill Gates famous for? Or why is he so famous, for example, Bill Gates? Mm -hmm, Mario, why is Bill Gates so famous? He's... Um... Is famous for mm -hmm. uh, is famous for Microsoft. For Microsoft, right? Because he it is like one of the main right, mm -hmm. Microsoft. The, the, he is one of the investors or stakeholders. Yes, that's right. What about okay, thank you, Mario? What about okay. Gandhi, what do you know about Gandhi, Jonathan? Any like information about Mama Gandhi? Mm -hmm. He's a politic. He was a uh -huh, politician, he right? He was politic mm -hmm. in, in the independence of India. Yeah, right. He was a politician, a pacific, mm -hmm. a, a peaceful person, right? Related to the independence of India. Okay, thank you, Mario. Um, let's see, Morena, hello. Um, do you consider these persons were or are successful? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what about, uh, let's see, Alpha, what about you, Alpha? Do you consider they are successful, exitosos? Do you consider they are or they were successful? No problem. Ahí está también en la pantalla, you can see the question. It says, do you think successful, exitosos? Successful, successful. 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 Exactly, successful. ¿Qué piensa de...? ¿Usted cree que son exitosos? Do you think they are successful? Yes. Gandhi and... Creo que es, me parece conocido, no sé, no estoy segura. Yes, uh, he was a person, él era una persona que luchó, right, who fought for the Indian independence, luchó por la independencia de India, right? So, to your opinion, para su opinión, él fue uh, exitoso, successful? Yes, a person in the past, ¿cómo se llama? Peace. In for the past. Peace. Mm -hmm. For peace. peace. Yes, right. He, he was looking for peace, exactly. Entonces, sí. Yes, he was a successful person. Okay. Thank you, Alpha. Okay, let's have a look about what they did 
and uh, how this is related to the topic that we are going to have today. Okay, so can, is there a volunteer who wants to help me reading this paragraph? Then we're going to discuss some vocabulary, some words. Okay, any person who wants to read? Que lo lea, teacher. Si usted quiere, Alfa, you can do it. Okay, the, the A, o solo the making of... Title. Uh -huh. The making of success. Success. ¿Cómo? ¿Otra vez, teacher? Yes. Success. Success. Ahí está, that's right. Uh -huh. Some people have said that a success... Me cuesta esa palabra. Successful. Successful, ahí está. That's right. Successful. Mm -hmm. Person is like a short film. Mm -hmm. The person sticks out wherever he or she goes. People always seem mm -hmm. to notice, to not notice, to notice mm -hmm. special mm -hmm. about the person. Have you ever wondered why? Mm -hmm. What makes some successful? No, successful. Successful, that's right, successful. successful. Mm -hmm. For some time, research has been trying to answer the question they are, they have been looking closely mm -hmm. at people who have achieved, or como se pronuncia? Achieved success. Achieved success mm -hmm. in their lives and they have discovered mm -hmm. some very in interesting trait. That's right, okay. So thank you, Alpha. Tenemos las palabras. We have the word success, que significa éxito. Success. Y tenemos la palabra successful, que significa exitoso, right? Una persona que es muy exitosa. Successful. Por ejemplo, I am, I am successful. Because I have, uh, say, a car, digamos. Right. It's just, it's just an example. Soy exitosa porque tengo un, cajo, un, un carro. Okay? Because I have a job porque tengo un trabajo. It can be right. So then we have success, el éxito, right? Okay, do you have questions about these words? Preguntas about the words? Questions? Okay. Teacher, lo que dice short thumb, ¿qué significa? Short thumb es como una expresión that you are successful, that you have, have reached all the things, you still alcanzado el éxito, right? An expression, an expression. Mm -hmm. Any other Alcanzar questions? el éxito. Yes. Mm -hmm. Any other? Okay, so uh, let's continue with the reading, right? There are more vocabulary in this section. So, can you help me? I don't know, Amanda, can you help me with the next paragraph? Yes, Mahatma Gandhi is one person, the researcher, mm -hmm. have student, studied, studied. Gandhi was born in India in 100, no, 1,008. Ay, ay, teacher. Ayúdame. Podemos porque... tomar los dos números, podemos agarrar el 18 y luego el 69. So you can say 1869. Mm -hmm. Although he died in 1948, 
Mm -hmm. His life and princip principles have been inspiring people all over the world since then. Okay, thank you, Amanda. So we have the word inspiring, right? We have the word inspiring, inspiring. Remember that in the case of the numbers, we can take in pairs. For example, this is 10, eh, digamos, no se acuerda, como decir, 1,300 y algo. Podemos tomarlos en pareja también. O si lo prefiere de la forma larga, tomamos primero para decir 1,000, decimos 1,000. Luego decimos 800, 800. 800, y luego vamos con el, los últimos dos números, 69, 69, esta es la forma larga, o si no, lo podemos hacer de la forma que les mencionó, tomando los birds, right, 1869, ok, questions about that paragraph, questions, que es inspiring, Inspire, es, uh, inspiring es alguien que inspira, right? Like, como, inspira confianza, inspira any feeling. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so, any question? No? Okay, so let's go with the next paragraph about the Gandhi. Can you help me? Let's see, Jonathan. Can you help? Oh no, Mario, can you help me? Okay, Gandhi believed in non-violence and the use of this principle to help India gain independence from the Brits. His example has been providing moments for civil rights and freedom around the world ever since. In spite of great personal rich, he never gave up on the goals to help the poor and the underprivileged, such as ethnic minorities. Additionally, he always aimed to live a simple, a simple life. Uh, the time of Gandhi did the Premier Minister of India announced of the radio. The light has gone out of our life and there is dark every word. Okay, perfect. Thank you, um, Mario. So uh, let's just verify some words. And then most we have non-violence, right? Non-violence, no a la violencia, right? Non-violence. Tenemos también used, used, vamos a hacer emphasis en el sonido del pasado, used. And we have uh, principle, right? Principle. Principle. Mm -hmm. Then we have gain, 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 ganar, gain. Luego tenemos la palabra British, right? British. Le dijo que significa gain. Gain es ganar, ganar, ganar. gain, ganar. El ganar la independencia. Okay, then we have... Uh, um, his example, okay, tenemos la palabra guiding, guiding, right, guiar, right, está, está guiando, guide. Okay, I'm going to write the words next to, for uh, you to have, right, tenemos la palabra gain, gain, que significa obtener también, ganar, something. Ganar. Then we have guide. Tenemos el verbo que es guide, que es el verbo guiar. Then we have four civil rights. Tenemos los derechos civiles, right? The civil rights. 
Christopher Colón no dispersed on Gandhi right. He fought for the civil rights. And freedom. Freedom también, que significa libertad around the world. Ever since, in spite of great personal risk, he never gave up. Este es otro verbo que se utiliza. That. Gave up es el pasado del verbo give up. Give up. Significa rendirse, right? He never, nunca se rindió rendirse. And uh, of his goals, let's see whether it's another one. Okay, luego tenemos this verb también, que significa se ha ido, se ha ido de nuestras vidas, lives. Tenemos la otra palabra darkness, que significa oscuridad. There is darkness everywhere. Okay, any word, guys, that maybe you have uh, questions? Rich, rich. Let's see, rich. Personal, rich, rich. Personal, in which line? Personal, what is the line? Can you tell me the line, please? Personal. Rich, where is that? Risk, risk, that was risk. risk. Okay, <laughs> okay, no, it is a riesgo personal, right? A pesar de tener un riesgo personal, he never gave up. No, yo por vencido. Estar en peligro también, verdad? He had a big risk. Okay. Uh, an interesting what he did, right? Él hizo mucho, um, luchó mucho. He fought a lot. También se le conoce como una persona que ayunaba, que hacía muchos ayunos. Say, ayunos, you can say fast. Fast. Yes. Okay. Any other guys? Teacher, cuando dice has gone out. Has gone out es el, eh, significa que se ha ido. La luz, the light, se ha ido, the light. Ah, entonces lo que dice es que se ha ido la luz. Como eh, la luz que él, eh, por el bien. Él que emitía. Hacía, uh -huh, él emitía, let's say. Y después se quedaron en la oscuridad. Exactly. Pero okay. no se refiere así como que la luz, ¿verdad? Sino Ajá, sí, por sino bien. que... Uh -huh. Ajá. Sí. Uh, that is the idea. <laughs> Sentim en sentimiento. That's right. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So let's continue. So this is what Gandhi did, right? So let's see what Bill Gates has done, right? He's still alive. So can you help me with this information? Maybe, um, Jolman, can you help me with this information? Many people consider. <clears throat> many, many people consider Bill Gates one of the most thoughtful people in the world, and certainly one of the richest. Gates found, found the Microsoft Corporate in uh, night, 19. Uh, uh, seven, 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 five. In nineteen, uh, nine, four. Uh, he formed uh, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Uh, through this foundation, he has contributed billions of dollars to organizations and programs working in global health, including public health organizations. And he continues to work for world health and education. Okay, thank you. So is there a word in this paragraph that you may have some questions, guys? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, so we have what he has done right. 
uh, well, we have that he contributed, right? He contributed billions, right, of dollars, imagine, to organizations and programs for global health, right? Health organizations, también, right? And continues to work in education. Okay, awesome. Money can do anything. <laughs> Okay, let's continue with the next one. Maybe can you help me, um, Gladys? Help me with the next one, or did you read Gladys? Okay. Okay. The secrets. The secrets. The secrets of the success. The the success of Gandhi, gays and other su successful people is strictly similar. Simil, sem, similar, similar, similar. They have found a purpose in life uh, and are not afraid of afraid, mm -hmm. okay, action uh, to take rise or to work hard sunside. They have failed. Mm -hmm. But they have always gone on to reach their goal. 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 Okay. Their goal. goal. Okay. So interesting. Believe me, this text is has a lot of things, right? Not just for learning, but as a message. So we have the word strikely, right? Strikely. It means like sorprendentemente similar, right? Gandhi and Gates. Son y fueron exitosos because they have frankly similar things. Por ejemplo, they have found, ellos han encontrado, right? They have found a purpose in life, a purpose in la vida. And are not afraid, right? No tienen miedo de hacerlo, right? De, to take action. De tomar riesgos, to take risks. Y de también to work hard que ellos también, sometimes, it says they have failed, han fracasado, but they have always gone on to the reach. Ellos lo han superado, right? To reach, para alcanzar sus metas, their goals. Okay, questions about this text? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. So, uh, based on the present perfect, ¿cuáles son algunas oraciones in this text that tells me about the present perfect? Who can tell me a sentence? Uh -huh. Una oración que me indica el present perfect, right? Uh -huh. Yes. We studied that. Uh, sería tal vez they have found yes we have they have found a purpose in life that's right any other mm -hmm. that is one there are more mm -hmm. alguna otra any other guys they have filed, filed. Mm -hmm. They have failed, right? They have failed. That's right. They have failed. Ellos han fracasado, right? But even though they succeeded. Okay, any other? Mm -hmm. What about the first paragraph? He, he has they have always. Mm -hmm. They okay. have always. Gum on the reach they oh yes, but they have always gone to reach their goal. That's right. Okay, and then I listen. Mm -hmm. Mario who said has contributed, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. So that is the present perfect. So let's review this topic, right? Let's review this topic. And uh this is the present. Perfect. When you say, for example, 
hemos finalizado, hemos eh, hecho esto, hemos estado en Guatemala, por ejemplo. So you are using the perfect, something that you have done, right? algo que usted ha hecho. So we have the structure, we have the structure. study this on Friday. So we have, when you have I, you, we, they, we use have or the contraction. Or when we use, for example, he, she, it, has or the contraction. No nos olvidemos que si es un verbo regular, we are going to add ed. Very important this. The negative, haven't or have not, hasn't or has not. Si es una pregunta, we are going to use have or has at the very beginning. And then the subject, and then the verb. And then we have the short answer. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Yes, she has or no, she hasn't. Questions about that part? No sé si dudas. This is the present perfect. Present perfect. No questions? No question. Okay, perfect. So let's move on to the next, to the next slide for uh, you to practice, right? So in this part, uh, we're going to write some sentences and I want you to help me. We're going to, vamos a, a ver qué tanto nos acordamos de los verbos, right? So remember, les tenemos los verb irregular and los que son irregular, right? Let me show you this. Um, say if I can. Okay. Donde los vamos a encontrar? This verb. Looking for los verbos irregular, para que se lista. Yeah. Ok, eh, me indican si pueden ver los... los... Could you see them, guys? Yes, teacher. Lo va a mandar por, por el... Por se los puedo, sí, se los puedo mandar también. Ok, entonces, este es... Ya los verbos, ya los estudiamos, ok. Los verbos regulares en de irregular verbs. Entonces, para ese tiempo del present perfect, vamos a utilizar lo que está en la tercera columna. Ok, all of these ones. Por ejemplo, si nos dicen, what is the past participle of the be? Ah, el past participle es being. Estos no los tenemos que aprender. There is no other way. Ok. For example, a sentence, I have been to Mexico, he estado en México. Entonces acá estoy utilizando el de la tercera columna. Uh, for example, I have, uh, this one, she has broken her leg. She has broken, right? Estoy utilizando el verbo past participle de break. Past participle de break está. Okay, so there is no other way. Nos tenemos que aprender these verbs. Okay, questions about um, this, this part, guys? No sé si hay dudas. You can ask, right? The moment for you to ask. No questions? Okay. It means to me we are. Okay. Entonces, uh, based on that, we're going to use the verbs, right? They're going to help me with this part, and then you're going to work with your. Give me just a second to share the exercise. So 
we have the first verb. What's happening? Pass. Ay, este Hello, guys. Pueden ver. Hello, hello. Hola, hola. Sorry, guys, it seems that is having some issues computer too. Okay, let's continue with the exercise. Okay, let me know if you can hear me, guys. No sé si me escuchan. Yes, are you there, guys? Hello? Hola, hola, me escuchan? Yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So let's continue with the exercise. Right? Okay, so we have the first one. We have the verse C. Teacher, solo mande en la lista que, que com, compártala al, para, para tenerla, para poder ir viendo, por favor. Just a second. Al WhatsApp. Okay, let's see. Por favor. This is a good list, it has all the birds in Spanish, so it's going to be. Oh, let's see. There you have it, guys. Okay. Let me know if you have it. There it is. So we have. Uh, me. Thank you, teacher. Okay, okay, my pleasure. So we have, for example, C. Si nos vamos al listado, we're going to see that the past participle is sing, right? What about the verb by? What is the past participle? What is the past participle, the by? Who can tell me the past participle? Welcomes oh. it. It is both. That's right. Oh. Both. Here you have both. I think we have sell. Sell. So. It is sold. That's right. Then we have do. Don. Don. Mm -hmm. Then we have find. Fun. We have that. It is found. Found, right? Okay, then we have come. What is the past participle of come? Come. It is? Come. It is the same word. Okay, then we have come, came, come, right? It is the same. So we have put. What is the past participle of put? Put. Mm -hmm, the same. What about take? Mm -hmm. Taken. 
Taken, that's right. Taken. Tenemos right. What is the past participle of right? Writing. We have that it is a written. That's right. It is a written. Then we have break, right? Break, it is? Broken. Broken. <laughs> then we have set. Set, what is the past? Set. It's set. the same, right? Set. And then we have a read. What is the past part for you? Read. Mm -hmm. Read. How do you spell read? Read. Mm -hmm. Okay. Va a ser lo mismo. Lo vamos a escribir igual. Solo que cambia la pronunciación, right? No decimos read, sino que read, como el color right. Right. Por ejemplo, I have. I have a red. Uh, I have read the, uh, let's say, have reporters. Okay, so just take care with pronunciation. This is read, y si es en presente es read. Okay, so we have the all. Aquí se escribe lo mismo y se pronuncia diferente. Así es, así es. Que va a ser difícil como distinguir. Cuando usted está hablando, por ejemplo, del pasado, usted lo pronuncia como el color rojo, right? Red. Y cuando está hablando del presente, read. Uh -huh. Sí. Uh -huh. That is, esa es la clave. So we have the next verb that it is full. Full. The past participle. Falling. Falling. Right. Falling. Uh -huh. Falling. Falling. Then we have uh, el verbo rise. Rising. Yes, right. This rise. Mm -hmm. Then we have meet. What is the, the past part? Meet. Mm -hmm. Meet. Mm -hmm. What is the meet. past part? Meet. Meet. Like this? No. Mm -hmm. Like this? This is me. Se commit con una e. Ah, entonces es me. 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 Okay. Si usted dice me, está en presente. Si usted dice me, está en. Okay. Then we have think. What is the past participle of think? Oh. Thought. Bien, thought. 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 Ah, there you have, perfect. Okay, so as you can see, la única forma es that you have to memorize them, right? The only way, practice, practice. Okay, questions about the verbs? Estos son algunos, right? The list, there are a lot more. Teacher, ¿cómo uh -huh. sé que puede hacerse más fácil que se le queden tantos ver, <coughs> verbos a uno? Eh, yo le aconsejaría que estudie unos tres diarios. Unos tres, yeah. tres, así. Usted va a ver que ya cuando llegue a nivel avanzado, usted ya va. No, hay que aprendérselos todos, así que ya quiero que... No, es... Un no. día puede, to... puede dar a tomarse unos, eh, unos tres verbos, eso lo repasa, y así bueno. va, poco a poco. El pasado participio son como. Ese es el past participle, así es. Ajá, porque yo, pues sí, como hace poco estuvimos viendo el pasado simple. Uh -huh. Ahí tratando de aprenderme lo del pasado normal. Uh -huh. Y ahora vienen ya estos de ahora. Es como que ni me había terminado de aprender lo del pasado cuando ya me. Sí, sí, estos temas están bastante relacionados. Sí, ajá, por eso uh -huh. es que me, no le entendía este tema. Uh -huh. este, sí le entendía la estructura, pero no le entendía mucho al, 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 
los ejercicios por los verbos y me confundía porque yo decía que no los conocía esos verbos. Ajá. Pero sí son, son los que están en, en el listado. Ajá. Quizás los que habíamos visto eran los, segun, los de la segunda columna. Hoy estamos viendo los de la tercera. Uh -huh. Pero sí, no, no, se, no, se, eh, no se apresuren a aprendérselos todos porque eso lleva un proceso, right También hay aplicaciones. Por lo menos lo uh -huh. más básico. Sí, sí. Pero siempre te ir agregando más vocabulario porque recuerde que el inglés... Cada día usted no deja de aprender, right? So it, and it is the time, it is for you to practice. Lo mejor es practicar. ¿no? Ok. Y también uh, hay unas aplicaciones que también se las recomiendo. Las pueden usar, buscar en la Play Store. Usted ahí le puede llevar un registro de los verbos. Hay juegos ahí. Usted, you can practice there, right? So that is basically how you do it. Okay, do you have questions about this topic, guys? Questions? You can ask, right? Please. If you have, you can ask. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Do you have questions? No questions. No questions. A lot of questions, but no questions. <laughs> they told us, I don't know what to ask. Ok, vamos a practicar the structure, right? Vamos a hacer uh, some exercise and then you're going to be working with your partners. Ok, in the second part, we're going to write sentences. sentences. Ok, vamos con la estructura, right? Recordemos que en inglés ellos respetan mucho la estructura of the sentence. Ok, tenemos in letter A. Tenemos el sujeto, the teacher. Y nos dan el verbo arrive. Uh -huh. So, we have the teacher, como estoy hablando de la teacher, de ella o de él, recordemos que vamos a utilizar has. The teacher has arrived. Este es un verbo regular, solo le voy a agregar la de. Ok, vamos con el siguiente. Tenemos el sujeto the students y tenemos el verbo leave. Who wants to try that sentence? ¿Quién quiere intentar the sentence? Uh -huh. Who wants to try? Uh -huh. Who wants to try that sentence, guys? Volunteers? Uh -huh. Guys, what's the uh -huh. sentence? The students, uh -huh. the students have. Try, the students have. have. Uh -huh. Y tenemos el verbo leave. ¿Cuál es el past participle de leave? Vámonos al listado, right? Let's go to the list. Left. Left. Uh -huh. Students have left. Perguémosle the class. Los estudiantes se han ido o han dejado la clase. Okay. ¿Qué pasa si acá tuviera yo de student? ¿Qué pasaría? ¿Qué pasaría si yo tuviera de student? Sería has. That's right. Sería has. Student has. Very good. So, questions about part two? Let's take questions about part two. No questions? Okay, let's see. Vamos a hacer this part first, and tomorrow we are going to practice this. Okay? So, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. Then, practice, right? That, that is what I need to practice. Go to the breakout rooms and if you have questions, be passing by just in case you have a question. Let's go.
Estoy ahí que... ¿Qué pasó? ¿Saben? Sería broken, pero, o sea, sería Danny, broken, leg. Has, sería Danny, broken, has broken, has broken, has broken, leg. Podemos agregar ahí, Right. ¿Cómo te dice? Ahí podemos agregar Danny has broken his leg. Sí. Cierto. Su uh, leg right. right. Su. Okay. His. His. Uh -huh. okay. His. Y sería send you email. Send. 
Y la C, oh, ya se fue. y la C, el teacher, con mm -hmm. Phoenix. Tenemos Phoenix. Uh -huh. Los exámenes han terminado. Uh -huh. what, what do you have? ¿Qué es lo que tenemos ahí? What do you have? La C. Uh -huh. The exámenes have finished. Uh -huh. Finished, right? No, podemos agregar y D. Finished. Mm -hmm. That's right, ahí está. Ok. Y en el y el verbo sería sen el participio en el se se alfa sí letter sí en el i oh i ajá uh -huh. ahí sería el I. verbo participio sería y enviado usted email ay ajá ay ¿Ha enviado usted un email? Sí, va. Yo he enviado. Yo he enviado. Ay, no, yo. He enviado. I said you. I'm sending. Sending. ¿Cuál es el, el auxiliar que utilizamos? Eh, sí, sí, I have, ha, that's right. I have, uh -huh. sent. I have, uh -huh. sent. Sent, con T, o send. Sent, no, send, con, con D. D. Con D, right, ese es el participio. Uh -huh. Con D. At, present. Uh -huh. Ya me equivoqué, ya me, ya me equivoqué. Send, con T. Ok, send, tenemos el send, ¿verdad? Vámonos al listado. Send, send, send y send, ¿verdad? Send, send. ajá. ¿Mm? Send. Send, ajá, ese. Pero así está. ¿Mm? Así está. Sí. I sent you, you, you email. Uh -huh. you email. You email. Okay. Otro, ah, send. Así ya, así ya con el F, she, she has sent this, this fight before. Uh -huh. She has seen. Sin. Uh -huh. Con N. Con N, así es. She has. She has. This film. Sing. Sing with N, right? Sing. Vio esta película. If we pour this film. She has seen this film, this film before. Before. Ah, before. Ella ha visto esta película antes. Ha visto. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get your work. Tony. It's on a las ocho, at eight. I'm going to get the meeting, okay, guys? Just in case. Um, Teacher, hasta el miércoles vamos a recibir clase. No, mañana sí vamos a tener clase. Oh, perdón, pero de que se terminan las clases. Ajá. Sí, sí, hasta el miércoles, así es, Alfa. Hasta el día miércoles. Ah, va, ok. Ok. Un minuto más, ladies, and I will end the meeting, ok? Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok, to you.